All right, here we are in final race six for the day of the men. Looks like we've got our competitor from the Dominican Republic, Ariel Corniel, on his twin tip, doing quite well out in front. Looks like he's gonna hit that first mark in first place. Oh, and he goes down, catches an edge, but he's right back up. And I'm not sure who's that right behind him. Oh, it looks like Oswald Smith and Julian Carnaire going at it, passing each other. I'm not sure who's passing who. They're on the same kite, but Ariel seems to be still out in the lead, followed closely by Julian Carnaire and Oswald Smith. Buoy three. Oh, and it looks like Smith. No, yeah, is it Smith taking? No, it's Julian Carnaire taking him underneath. Julian Carnaire overtaking Ariel Corniel right there, but his kite's up over his head. It looks like he outran it a little bit, and, and uh, Ariel continues on. I'm not sure who's out in front. Trying to see, it looks like uh, Kerner is just pinning it with Oswald Smith in a drag race for the finish line. Who's it gonna be? Both those guys are neck and neck, just flying it. I see Bernie in the back. Brian Lake's down there. Looks like in third place. As they're making it towards the finish line, looks like Karen is coming in. Brian goes down. Oh, and he's got that rib injury. Oh, that has got to hurt, but he's right back in the game. That last mark for the finish line looks like it's going to be Julian Karen finishing him first, followed by Oswald Smith and Brian Lake. Man, what an impressive, impressive heat from those guys. And after six races, it looks like Brian Lake from the United States is maintaining his first position. It's getting closer, you know. I'm definitely not going 100% anymore. This is just the pain of trying to kite. With this injury, it hurts. So we'll see what happens. Oh God, it's so cold out there today. It's, it's, it's nuts, but uh, you know, yesterday it was 80 degrees, beautiful, no wind. <laughs> and then today it's totally different. Big front came in. It's probably blown 30, 35 out there. It's getting real gnarly, and I guess it's supposed to be even windier tomorrow, so we'll see.